Centennial had won five of the last six meetings before Pierce Central, but you know what? That had nothing to do with what happened tonight at Longwood Stadium. Daniel Soto had the first touchdown of the half for the Cobras, and they would lead 10-zip going into the intermission. Let's take a look at a couple big plays here. First, a, a nice run up the middle. That's going to do you some damage here. And then for Central, they also had the ground game going all night long. And defensively, after you get the big QB scramble, you get the crowd into the game. Well, now the Cobra is going to be rallying into the backfield. Here's DJ Thomas, a sack. One of the many stops for a loss for Central at home. I mean, again, like I said, a resounding crowd for them as they got the big win 23-7. They improved the 2-1 and one on the season. Okay, here's my question. What impressed you most about this game? Really, it was the defense for Central because uh, on that side of the ball, they had a big loss last year when they mm -hmm. lost one of their top pass rushers in all of the nation, really, in the state. Yeah. And to see that they have more guys up front, still creating pressure, still mm -hmm. making it hard on running backs and quarterbacks, uh, Office of coordinators that got to travel to Longwood, you're in for a tough test. Okay, what needs work then? What needs work? I mean, maybe you could put more points up on the board, right? They only had 10 points at the half against a Centennial team that they probably could have opened it up more. Everybody against. likes a high score game. Everybody likes points. Yes. I love points. You love points. Yes, I do. see some highlights. Uh, so that's the only uh, little bit of a fuss I have, but they okay. got the win. Okay. That's